Welcome back. This is part three, the third, and possibly, yeah, more than likely going to be the final part of the my uh, updated VHS collection 2020 edition. We last left off, I showed you Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Now I'm going to show you the rest of the slipcovers and tapes that I have. So let's get going. This is this first one in this part is. Well, yeah, a pretty iconic film. Almost every VHS collector has this. This is the 1996 VHS of Independence Day, also a 1996 movie with Will Smith, Jeff Goldblum, Bill Pullman, Mary McDonnell, Judd Hirsch, Margaret Collin, Randy Craig, Robert Loggia, James Redborn, and Harvey Firestein. We need pretty much no introduction. THX certified on the spine here. ID4 is undeniably fun, says David Demby of New York Magazine. Co-produced by Centropolis Entertainment, but their logo does not show up at all. Rated PG-13, and it's a 145 minutes. This is, of course, directed by Roland Emmerich. Here's the... Oh, take this out fully, then. Here's the tape with the sticker label. Put it on the 43rd week of 1996. It came with this here, too. This holographic card of the White House getting blown up by the aliens. And on the back, there's a note from Dean Devlin and Roland Emmerich. The success of Independence Day has gone beyond anything we could have ever imagined. We knew we were creating a very special film and are pleased to see it has struck a chord with such a vast audience. Now, and in the years to come, we hope you and those close to you will have the opportunity to enjoy this film over and over again. Dean Devlin, producer and co-writer. Roland Emmerich, director and co-writer. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Again, this movie needs absolutely no introduction. Everybody knows what Independence Day is. I, I uploaded the opening on Independence Day. So if you want to go see it, definitely go ahead and check it out. Probably post a card up on the screen now. This next one is one of my... All-time favorite movies, if not my all-time favorite movie, honestly. This is an absolutely amazing movie. This is the 1997 VHS of Jerry Maguire. Of course, this is, the, this is a 1996 movie with Tom Cruise. Also stars uh, Cuba Gooding Jr., Renee Zellweger, the late Kelly Preston, Jerry O'Connell, Jay Moore, and Bonnie Hunt. Directed by, written and directed by Cameron Crowe. A deliciously smart romantic comedy, says David Anson of Newsweek. Five Academy Award nominations in 1996, including Best Picture and Best Actor Tom Cruise. Probably it should have won Best Picture and Best Actor if I were if uh, if I were to say so myself. But it lost to the English Patient in terms of Best Picture. This is a TriStar Pictures movie. Four stars. A smart, sexy comedy, says Joe Linden of NBC TV. Two thumbs up, says Cisco and Ebert. Tom Cruise gives his best performance today, says Neil Rosen of New York One. A sweetheart of romantic comedy, says Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. This also stars Regina King as well. Rated R, and it's, I believe, yeah, uh, 139 minutes. Here's the sticker label. Put it on the... Looks to be the 13th week of 1997. I want to make sure. Yeah, it is. But yeah, as I said, this is probably... Might be my all-time favorite movie. This movie is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, this is fantastic movie. This next one... 
is the 19, I believe the 1991 VHS. This is the oldest tape I have in my collection. This is a 1991 VHS of Kindergarten Cop with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ivan Reitman film. An undercover cop but in a class by himself. This is um, co-produced by Imagine Entertainment. Their logo does not show up until the end, however. This also stars Penelope Ann, R Penelope Ann Miller, Pamela Reed, Linda Hunt, Richard Tyson, and Carol Baker. Again, directed by Ivan Reitman, who directed Ghostbusters. This is also, actually, this is also another thing I forgot to mention. This is released during Universal's 75th anniversary. So at the start, it has their, of the movie, it has the their uh, 75th anniversary logo. This is a 1990 film. One of the year's 10 best, totally enjoyable, says Ralph Novak of People Magazine. Kindergarten Cops gets straight A, says Joel Siegel, Good Morning America. The funniest film of the year, says Patrick Stone, PBS TV. Rated PG-13, and it's an hour and 51 minutes. That's, so that's um, 111 minutes. Here's the sticker label. And the end label, printed on the 25th week of 1991. Yeah, 25th week of 1991. This version does have the trailer for Backdraft at the beginning, which I'm also on the hunt for. But Kindergarten Cop, absolutely fantastic movie, too. That's really, really funny. Highly recommend it. Next one is the 1998 VHS of... The Mask of Zorro, which is a 1990, also a 1998 movie with Antonio Banderas and Anthony Hopkins. This also has Catherine Zeta-Jones, Stuart Wilson, and Matthew Letcher. Letcher. Directed by Martin Campbell, who directed Casino Royale, Vertical Limit, GoldenEye, stuff like that. And co-produced by Amblin Entertainment. This is also a TriStar Pictures movie. Great fun. I loved it, says Joel Siegel, Good Morning America. This is one crowd pleaser that actually pleases, says David Anson of Newsweek. Rated PG-13 and it's 137 minutes. Here's the ink sticker label. Well, for some reason, it says uh, on the back, it says 137 minutes. But on the label, it says 138 minutes. I don't know which one's true or not. Put it on the 44th week of 1998. Yeah. I haven't seen this yet, so I can't really comment too much about it. But I have been wanting to see it for a while, so. As for the sequel, I'm probably going to stay away from that. This next one is also a childhood favorite of mine, a childhood favorite. This is the 1999 VHS of The Mummy, which is also a 1999 film with Brendan Frazier, Rachel Weisz, John Hanna, Arnold Vosloo, Jonathan Hyde, and Kevin J. O'Connor. This is the uh, remake of the original Universal Monster classic. Mile a Minute Chills and Frills, says Jeffrey Lyons, Jeffrey Lyons of WNBC TV. Brendan Fraser, the ideal action hero, action adventure hero, says Dennis Cunningham of WCBS TV. Big Time Fun, which, which was said by Bob Graham of San Francisco Chronicle. This is co-produced by Alphaville, which is their which um, their logo appears at the very end of the movie. Rated PG-13, and it's 2 hours and 5 minutes, so that's 125 minutes. Here's the sticker label. Print on the 33rd week of 1999. But yeah, I used to watch the movie a lot as a kid, so... And it's really, really good. I really like this one a lot. I haven't really seen the other two that they made.
uh, The Mummy Returns and The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. As for the third one, I'm staying far away from that. Returns, I might get some time. The remake, I'm avoiding it. The other remake, which they did recently in 2017, avoiding that at all costs. This next one is the 2000 VHS of Music of the Heart, which is a 1999 movie with Meryl Streep, Aidan Quinn, Goya Estefan, and Angela Bassett. This is directed by Wes Craven. This is this also stars Jane Lees, Kieran Culkin, and J.O. Sanders. Four stars. The best movie of the year says NBC TV. Two thumbs up says Roger Ebert and Harry Knowles, Roger Ebert at the movies. She gave them a, a gift they could never imagine. They gave the system a fight it will never forget. Added bonus hot music video for the song Music of My Heart performed by NSYNC and Goya Estefan from the soundtrack. Which is also uh, nominated for uh, Best Original Song at the Oscars. Two Academy Award nominations. Best Actress, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. Best Original Song, Music of My Heart. A Movie with Heart, says Chicago Tribune. This was purchased from Blockbuster on January 15th, 2001. Again, directed by Wes Craven. This is rated PG and it's 124 minutes. Here's the tape with the ink label. Recommend this movie to friends. I have not seen this movie yet, but I'm recti- I'm gonna rectify that pretty soon. Blockbuster end label. I mainly got this movie because Wes Craven directed this. This is a pretty different movie for him. This is not a horror film. This is more of a drama. So I'm very interested to see how it is. It looks really good though. So can't wait to watch this one pretty soon. This next one is the 19, even though the copyright on the back says it's from 1995, this is actually a 1996 VHS of Nine Months, which is a 1995 film with Hugh Grant, a Chris Columbus film. The funniest all-out comedy says since Mrs. Doubtfire, says John Cochran of KCAL-TV. This also stars Julianne Moore, Tom Arnold, Joan Cusack with Jeff Goldblum and Robin Williams, the late great Robin Williams. Four stars, delightful and irresistible, says Jeff Craig, 60 second preview. This is co produced by 1492 Pictures. This is a 20th Century Fox movie. Here's the tape with the ink label, sticker label, excuse me. Put it on the 51st week of 1995. Even though it's a 1996 VHS, this does have the previews for The Truth About Cats and Dogs and A Walk in the Clouds, as well as the soundtrack promo. I did upload the opening to this. If you want to go see it, definitely go ahead and check it out. This is a very good movie. Highly recommend that one. I really, really enjoyed that one. Next one is the 1997 VHS of Ransom, which is a 1996 movie with Mel Gibson, which and um, also stars Rene Russo, Gary Sinise, Delroy Lindo, and Lily Taylor as well. A Ron Howard film. Two thumbs up, says Siskel and Eber. A slang bang, slam bang thriller, says People Magazine. Someone is going to pay. Spellbinding. First rate says the New York Times. Tension Pact says Rolling Stone. This is also co-produced by Imagine Entertainment, even though it doesn't say here on the back. Their logo does appear at the end of the movie. 
I did both the opening and the closing to this tape. To this tape. So if you want to go see it, it's on the channel. Rated R and it's 121 minutes. Yet another blockbuster rental, as you can see. This is the tape with the sticker label. Recommend it to friends. Oh, I absolutely recommend this to friends. This is fantastic. Love this movie. Printed on April 19th, 1997. Great movie. This next one is the 1999, well, ten, yeah, 1999 VHS of Rush Hour, which is a 1998 movie with Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker. The fastest hands in the East meet the ma biggest mouth of the West. The year's funniest action comedy said by... Uh, Andy Klein of New Times LA. Chan and Tucker are terrific together, says Jeffrey Lyons of WNBC. Two thumbs up to Cisco and Ebert. This also stars Tom Wilkinson, Chris Penn, and Elizabeth Pena. Directed by Brett Ratner, who directed the sequels and um, X-Men The Last Stand. Rated PG-13 and it's 97 minutes. Here's the tape with the ink label. Put it on August 18th, 1999. This is version 2 of the tape, which has previews for... It has previews for um, Friday. Yeah, it has previews for Friday. The Jackie Chan action promo actually comes first. Then the preview for Friday. Then Money Talks and the promo for Half-Life, the video game on PC. So yeah, this is version 2. Very good movies though. If you haven't seen it, definitely see it. Next one is the a movie I saw relatively recently. These next two I saw pretty recently. Is the 1999 VHS of She's All That, which is also a 1999 movie with Freddie Prince Jr., Rachel Lee Cook, Matthew Lillard, Jolie Lynn O'Keefe, Usher Raymond, Kimberly Little, Kim Jones, and Anna Paquin. This also stars Paul Walker, Kevin Pollock, Kieran Culkin, and um, Eldon Henson. Hip, smart, and hilarious, says NBC TV. These two opposites attract, but everyone's trying to keep them apart. Rent hits, get free phone cards, talk about movies. This is a uh, former rental. Oh, that offer expired, by the way, on Halloween Day, 1999. Sexy, fun, and entertainment says CBS Radio. Everyone will love this movie, says UPN TV. This is co-produced by Tapestry Films and Film Colony, featuring the hit single Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer, which is a very good song. Rated PG-13, and it's 95 minutes. Here's a tape with the sticker label. Please rewind tape. Like I said, it's a home rental. Put it on June 10th, 1999. It's a pretty decent movie. I actually liked this one quite a bit. I was surprised by it. Definitely going to watch it again sometime soon. This next one I also saw recently. This is the 1999 VHS of... A Simple Plan, which is a 1998 movie directed by Sam Raimi with Bill Paxton, Billy Bob Ford, and Bridget Fonda. Sometimes people, good people, do evil things. Two thumbs up. A razor sharp thriller says Cisco and Ebert. This is former purchase from Blockbuster on August 16th, 1999. The mo is the most gripping, 
dramatization in years of the proposition that crime will always cost more than it pays, says Owen Gruberman of Entertainment Weekly. This is co-produced by Mutual Film Company. Rated R for violence and language, and this is 121 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Here's the tape with the sticker label, Blockbuster N label. This is printed on the 21st week of 1999. Yeah, 21st week of 1999. Put this back in the case, reverse that real quick. Hold on. There we go. Here's the next one, which is another personal favorite of mine. This is the 1990, even though the back says it's from 1992. This is a 1993 VHS of Single White Female, which is a 1992 movie, ironically also starring Bridget Fonda, but also has Jennifer Jason Leigh as well. This also stars Steven Weber and Peter Friedman as well, directed by Babette Schroeder, who directed Reversal of Fortune. Allie's new roommate is about to borrow a few things, her clothes, her boyfriend, her life. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. SWF seeks female to, sh to share apartment in West 70s. Non-smoker, professional, required, preferred. Excuse me. Rated R and it's 100, 107 minutes. Oh. Another blockbuster rental. Here's a sticker label. Oh, this is the time. This was back when they didn't have the labels at the end of the end of the thing here. Put it on the 50, 52nd week of 1992. So this is quite an early pressing. But yeah, I freaking love this movie. I love, 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 love this movie. Highly recommend it. They made a remake, The Roommate, which came out in 2011. It is fucking atrocious. Don't even watch it. Avoid it at all costs. It's on, the remake is on Netflix. Don't watch it. Watch this one instead. Highly recommend this one. Do not watch The Roommate under any circumstances. So yeah. Next one is a movie we're all, I'm sure we're all familiar with, which is the 2000 VHS of The Sixth Sense. Of course, the 1999 thriller directed by M. Night Shyamalan starring Bruce Willis. The number one thriller of all time. This also stars Tony Collette, Olivia Williams, and Haley Joel Osment as well. I used to have the video bonus edition of this video bon exclusive video bonus edition version of the tape, but uh, it doesn't. It didn't play very well at all in my VCR. It kind of fucked up my VCR for a while. So I got a new copy, and this is the one with uh, just the regular copy with the previews. The most involving, intelligent psychological thriller in a long time says Good Morning America. Bonus feature includes Rules and Clues, which is shown after the movie. This is co-produced. This is the first movie produced by Spyglass Entertainment, and this is also co-produced by the Kennedy Marshall Company. The Spyglass Entertainment logo appears at the beginning and the end. Kennedy Marshall Company's logo only appears at the end. Here's the tape with the ink label. Recommend this for the friends. Oh, I absolutely recommend it. Although, if you're kind of you didn't haven't seen this movie, you're kind of living under a rock, honestly. Hollywood Video End Label. This movie needs no introduction whatsoever. Next one is the only Star Trek movie I currently have in my collection. This is the 1996 VHS of First Contact, which is a 1996 uh, movie, which is the technically second movie in the Next Generation film, Next Generation movies, which stars Patrick Stewart, Jonathan Frakes, who also directed the movie. Brett Spiner, LeVar Burton, Michael Dorn, Gates McFadden, Martina Sirtis, Alfred Woodward, James Cromwell, and Alice Cridge as well. 
Resistance is futile. You can see the cover is uh, holographic. One of the top, one of the ten best films of the year. You'll love this film. It's Steve Odenfield of Fox TV. Stands tall and proud, says Richard Corliss of Time. Has it all, says Jim Ferguson of Preview, Preview Channel. This is rated PG-13 and it's 111 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label. Put it on the 42nd week of 1997. I highly recommend this movie. I haven't seen it in a long time though. But it's one of the better Star Trek movies I've seen. So I highly recommend this one. This next one is a movie. Honestly everyone has seen. Even, including myself. This is the 1998 VHS of Titanic. Which is a 1997 movie starring... Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, of course, directed by James Cameron, a, li a winner of uh, 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Almost every VHS collector has this tape. This is a Paramount movie co-produced by 20th Century Fox and Lightstorm Entertainment. This is THX certified. Paramount released the movie here in the U.S. Fox released it uh, internationally. This is rated PG-13 and it's 194 minutes. Just getting that way out of now because it saved the runtime on the back. 11 Academy Awards including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Sound, Best Original Song, Best Cinematography, Best Original Dramatic Score, Best Sound Effects Editing, Best Costume Design, Best Visual Effects, Best Art Direction, and Best Film Editing. Again, THX certified. And they're split onto two tapes here, which they got their own case. So let's take tape two out of the way. Here's tape one, which is all, has its own artwork. Here's the back with the description of what the movie's about. Here's the tape with the ink la thicker label. And believe it or not, even though this is a Paramount tape, this does have a print date. This is printed on August 31st, 1998. Here is now tape two. This movie also stars Billy Zane, Kathy Bates, Francis Fisher, Bernard Hill, Jonathan Hyde, Danny Nucci, Gloria Stewart, David Warner, Victor Garber, and Bill Paxton. Here's the tape with the sticker label. Once again, this has a print date. This is the same uh, same day, August 30th, 1998. Same printed on the same day. So let me get this back in the case now. But yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone has seen Titanic at least once in their lives before. I have seen it. Although I haven't seen it in a very long time, but I remember it being really good, so I'm gonna have to watch it again sometime. But yeah. Next one is yet an actually, ironically enough, another James Cameron movie. This is the movie he did before Titanic. This is the 1995 VHS of True Lies, which is a 1994 movie of Arnold Schwarzenegger. It also stars Jamie Lee Curtis, Tom Arnold, Bill Paxton, Art Malik, and Tina Tia Carrere as well. Once again, directed by James Cameron. Our gargantuan film machine, says David Anson of Newsweek.
fast, flashy, furious, and funny. True Lies is a, is a terrific film, says P- Ralph Novak of People Magazine. Once again, co-produced by Lightstorm Entertainment, which their logo actually does show up uh, at the beginning, after the 20th Century Fox logo. This is rated R, and it's 141 minutes. So this is how the young Elijah Douche crew as well. This is this is the, this is the uh, sticker label. Put it on the. If I could see it, where is it? Does it have one? Or does it have a print date? I don't see a. Or is it on the side? See here, just a little bit. I think it's. A, I don't see a week and year code on here. I don't see one. But there's writing in ink here, but I don't see a print date. This uh, this tape actually was pressed three times. One of which has the um, preview for a trailer for Airheads and a preview for um, Speed, and then the Fitness is for Everybody promo. And then there's another one that just has the Speed. Preview and the fitness is for everybody promo. This copy only has the fitness is for everybody promo at the beginning. Next one is the 1996 VHS of Twister, which is a 19 also a 1996 movie with Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt. This also has Jamie Gertz, Carrie Elwes, Philip Seymour Hoffman's also in this movie too. From the producers of South, uh, uh, not South Park, Jurassic Park. That's Amblin Entertainment. And the director of Speed, which is uh, Jan de Bond. The Dark Side of Nature, THX certified. As you can see, it's a little bit chewed up right there. But the tape still plays fine. A Gale Force movie. The special effects are spectacular, says Janet Maslin of New York Times. This is also co-produced by Universal Pictures. Oh, well, yeah, Universal, who own the international rights. And it's also co-produced, once again, by Amblin Entertainment. Rated PG-13 for intense depiction of very bad weather. Interesting way to rate a movie. This is 113 minutes. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And the print date is August 2nd, 1996. But if you can see a little bit, the tape is like the piece of the tape got ripped up it's like broken but the tape still actually does play normally and plays fine but look that's wound right there but it still plays fine this is a great movie everyone is pretty i'm pretty sure everyone is aware of this movie they're making a remake which i don't understand why they're remaking this movie to be honest with you i don't really see the point of it but whatever i guess The next one is the last Adam Sandler movie I have. I have a lot of Adam Sandler movies. This is the 1998, I'm pretty sure, 1998 VHS of The Wedding Singer, which is a 1998 movie, also a 1998 movie with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. He's going to party like it's 1985. This also stars Christine Taylor as well. A sparkling romantic comedy, says Kevin Thomas of Los Angeles Times. Soundtrack on Maverick CDs and cassettes. It says music from Culture Club, David Bowie, and The Police. This is a New Line Cinema movie. This is rated PG-13, and it's 97 minutes. Here's a tape with the ink label, and there's no print date. I don't know why there's no print date, to be honest with you, but this tape has absolutely no previews at all. There's not even a soundtrack promo like some copies have. There's no previews at all. It just after the warning goes straight to the new line feature presentation bumper. Next one is the 2001 VHS of What Women Want, which is a 2000 movie with Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt. A film by Nancy Myers. This also stars Marissa Tomei, 
Mark Firestein, Lauren Harley, and Alden, Alan Alda. The, the naughty and nice romantic comedy we've been missing since Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. Finally, a man is listening. A very funny movie, says Roger Ebert, should, Roger Ebert of Ebert and Roper at the Movies. Two thumbs up, says Ebert and Roper at the Movies. A laugh out loud celebration of, of the sexes, says Marcus Allen of UPN TV. This is co-produced by Alcon Productions. Rated PG-13 for sexual content and language. This is 126 minutes. Here's the tape with the ink la sticker label. And it's a form rental from Hollywood Video. Printed on the 14th week of 2001. Haven't seen that movie yet, so I can't really comment too much about it. I haven't seen this last... This is the final tape in my collection yet, either. Uh, this is uh, based on the TV show of the same name. This is the 1998 VHS of... The X-Files, or as fans call it, X-Files Fight the Future. This is a 1998 TV adaptation. Uh, this is based on the TV show, the very popular TV show that aired around this time on Fox. Created by Chris Carter, who also, also wrote this movie, THX Certified. This, of course, stars Gillian Anderson and David Duchovny. Who else is a star? Martin Landau, Blythe Danner, and... Armin Muostal as well. Two thumbs up, says Cisco and Ebert. Smart, sexy, and sensational. X marks the spot, says ABC TV. Sharp, mysterious, and wonderful, says Newsweek. Everything a great action filler should have. Intelligence, action, and awesome special effects, says 60 Second Preview. This is rated PG-13, and it's 122 minutes. Here's the tape with the ink la sticker label. God, I can't talk today. Sorry. This is printed on the, I believe it says the 32nd week of 19, no, 37th week of 1998. So yeah, I haven't seen this movie either, but I'm definitely going to have to check it out once I get to watch it. I have to watch, I mean, I've watched the show a little bit, but I haven't watched this movie, so I'm definitely going to have to check it out sometime. So there you have it. That was my entire... My entire VHS collection, 2020 edition. This was a very long project to produce, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more videos to come in the future. So, I'm signing off. Goodbye. See you soon. Stuff. Okay, bye.